All right, well, this video is a demonstration on how to look up and download financial statement information and pricing information for a company. The company I'm looking at is Union Pacific. So I, uh, this is the start screen for Capital IQ. And if I go out here and just type in, actually I can just put in the, the ticker symbol. So I get Union Pacific Corporation. I'm going to select that. And when you select the company, you get a lot of good information here, just basic information about the company, um, stock quotes, some basic financial information, who the professionals are in the company. And what I'm interested in is downloading the financial statement information for the last 10 years and also the pricing for the past year. So, to start off with the financial information, I can choose any of the financial statements. And um, on this bar, you can pick your time. And I want to go out about 10 years. I'm going to pull back to here. So it'll pull up everything back to 2013. I could go further. So we, we have a long period of time that we can look up uh, for the company. But I want to stick to about the last 10 years and, and in the end what I'm going to do is calculate the free cash flows but I'll do that in another video. So I've got uh, the last 10 years. It doesn't matter which statement I'm on but I can go down here and go to download financials. I do need to set the time. Period type is annual. Um, and then there's some other options here. You can have common size statements as presented statements. Uh, this is just a standard s a statement setup. And then I just go up here to download financials, select that. This will take a minute. There we go. And then that gives me all of the financial statements uh, for Union Pacific for the past 10 years. So if you look down here, I've got my income statement, my balance sheet on the tabs, the statement of cash flows. Um, they also has a tab for key statistics for the firm. Historic capitalization, which is nice. We can see what their capital structure has been over time. ratio analysis, um, pension obligations, and then it breaks it up on different segments. Union Pacific has one operating segment, which is railroads, and then it has two geographic segments, um, which is the United States, which are the United States and Mexico. So it's pretty straightforward, easy to download, a lot of inf good information all at once. All right, so now what I want to do is download uh, some stock pricing information for Union Pacific. And so I start back over with my, my start page here. And, I, and again, I can just type in the ticker symbol uh, UNP. And then I can go down here to charting. So on the left-hand side here, it says Chart Builder. So it automatically pulls up Union Pacific. Um, what it shows here is the share pricing and volume. I, there's a lot of different options that I can choose. As you can see, there's several along here where I could select the dividend yield, and it's going to chart that for me. Um, I can see the number of um, shares sold short if I'm interested in the short interest in the, in the firm. Um, I can also go down here to the metric tree. And there's a lot of different things I can um, look at here. So if I want to include consensus estimates, um, the number of analysts with the number one ranking, uh, highest ranking, I can add that to my chart. So you can see how that goes over time. So there's a lot of different options here. Um, but right now, I'm just concerned with getting the share pricing information. So I'm going to deselect everything except for the share pricing information. And then I'm going to go to um, 
export or excuse me export options and export all the charts to Excel and so that has been downloaded then I, again I just select my Excel sheet here and you can see that I've gotten all of the stock pricing information daily stock pricing information for the past year and then I can I can just delete that if I want and just uh, leave the the stock pricing information that's it uh, that's how to download stock pricing information and also uh, some some financial reporting information for a firm using Capital IQ.